playing a game and it's called the game of planets and in this game you become an empire commander and what you do is you build your empire of this galaxy so you're at the level of thinking that you're in command of your planet and that you now have to uh, do research you have to uh, create designs for your ships you have to send ships into space and then you colonize space and then you have to run these colonies and then you have the politics of interacting with all the other empire commanders that are in your part of the galaxy and what they're doing and so what it gives you is a is a, a journey into thinking about how to build the resources that you need to create the facilities that you need to create the ships that you need to go through the galaxy to create more colonies mine to get resources and continually build ships so it's it's a bunch bunch of decisions that take time to unfold it's a different type of game than your usual bank bank game it's a strategy game it needs patience and you have to determine what research you have to do in order to gain which type of sort of warfare functions and just normal infrastructure functions and so you can build your empire and you don't necessarily have to go to war with anybody but if you don't build up your military if there's someone out there who is going to go to war with you you'll get crushed they'll just wipe you out so even if you don't want to go to war you fundamentally have to create an empire that can defend itself and so this is all within your control in the game you are the empire commander and so you get to choose you know which path you go down and research you get to choose which buildings you choose in which order and that there is a strategy if you have two people in this game and one person doesn't really care and does whatever they will get eaten destroyed by the other player that is very intelligent about the use of their resources to do what they're going to do like within two months you could have a fleet of 30 ships or you could have a fleet of six ships so it all depends on how much time you spend in the game but the the game teaches a type of thinking that i i, I just haven't seen in any other game and that's what's interesting to me because I, I want to get kids i want to get teams of like 144 kids 12 teams of 12 and to put them in this galaxy and to teach communication teamwork thinking together choices decision making everything that is necessary that we don't have in terms of our normal educational system because our normal educational system you know was basically created pre-computer and now we have computer internet it's a whole new world our educational systems are all going to change and it's within this larger political <laughs> see to me madness in terms of human beings coming from this age of warfare coming from uh, a, a mindset that is always thinking about what is my enemy going to do to me because if you're in peacetime you don't think about your enemies trying to take your shit blow you up do all these horrible things to you in peacetime you just kind of relax and not worry about being attacked Right, but at different times of human history, we're at points in some contexts where you're either in peace or you're in war. And you know, most of our history is filled with war. And in our whole life now, we have this awareness that things are not going to be the same for whatever reasons that people are saying, but they're just not going to be the same because we're coming through a huge cultural transformation and how we come together how do the children come together how do the youth come together that is what is occurring right now 
And we have this beautiful opportunity of all these kids at home right now who are wondering what to do. And the parents want them to have something to do. And for the most part, kids want to play games. There are great games out there. But why don't we take this game mentality, bring it into the game of planets, but now add other info techs to teach ourselves and everybody else how to communicate online in teams to achieve things, right? Like right now, the sophistication of your business has so much to do with how well does your team work together to create together, right? Like this is the transformation. Small teams, it could be a family, it could be a little business, can create an infotech empire right now. There's so much possibility, there's so much potential, but it's, 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 it's like we need the right tools in the right way. And this is what I'm going to offer to you right now. If this inspires you, if you go, that's a good idea. And you know, some kids or, you know, some youth that want to learn how to communicate, play a game, become an empire commander, play on teams and uh, start to create new, the new mindset and give people, the kids a choice. If you want to create a world of war or you want to create a world of peace, how are you going to do it? How are you going to actually do it? Have them figure it out. And so by the time they grow up and they're like us, maybe we can have a world that does have peace because we all decided that war actually wasn't a good idea and that nobody likes everybody blowing other people's shit up, right? So I want to offer, I'm looking for 144 people want to play this game let's say between the ages of 13 and 21 and uh, we're going to have 12 teams and maybe we'll organize them by age and have all the ages go against each other um, so i've got this idea for a great game and i'm looking for 144 people to play it i'm also looking for 12 facilitators 12 sort of people that want to bring a holistic thinking system called the inflow matrix operating system and something called the new paradigm toolkit which are cards game boards maps processes and software and this operating system and this toolkit are going to be used by these players within this game playing a game that fundamentally is the creation of planetary guardians which is another game for us to save the world, right? Like we're kind of getting close to the age of the edge of oblivion here, and we got to do something about it, right? So for all the people at home who don't want to go to normal school, who actually want to do something good, who want to do something fun, who want to do something that is going to teach you how to communicate with all of these other crazy people out there, and hopefully come to a place where we can get along and uh, bring in as much humor as possible, because uh, I tell you, we need a lot of humor to get through whatever we're about to go through. Anyway, my name is Captain Sweep, and I'm your host. I am your prime facilitator, and I want to take you through a process of learning that is going to be something you've never done before.